Hi, I'm Chris Roberry. You know, I've always been a huge fan of amusement parks, always enjoyed the excitement and incredible stories behind them. So most people know that the Giant Dipper here is pretty time-worn, but the fifth oldest operating in the United States makes you appreciate all the history behind this wood. So when I found out that Northern California had lost 12 amusement parks, I was shocked. What are you laughing at? Your park was one of them. So join us as we discover the lost amusement parks of Northern California. Everybody, my name is Chris Roberry, and welcome to Great American Thrills as we search for the lost amusement parks of Northern California. Now, when I say San Mateo, what comes to mind first? SFO, Caltrain, Bay Meadows. How about a long lost Coney Island of the West? Don't believe me? Well, step back in time with us to 1922 and welcome to Pacific City. Built on a beach just north of Coyote Point on the San Mateo Burlingame border, Pacific City was financed by several prominent San Franciscans with the goal of having a resort for locals and tourists alike to spend their day and their money. So unlike Playland at the Beach where attractions and vendors just kind of popped up in a patchwork fashion along the beach, Pacific City was laid out well before any construction actually began. You could call it a planned community of fun. Boasting a hand-carved Denzel carousel, Ferris wheel, roller rink, and an 80-foot tall wooden roller coaster, dubbed the Comet, it was the place to be on the peninsula. The floating restaurant and bathhouse completed the resort and made it a major rival to both Playland at the Beach to the north and the Santa Cruz Boardwalk to the south. When opening day finally came on July 1st, 1922, over 17,000 people gladly plunked down a dime to enter the new resort. Three days later, a planned fireworks extravaganza and Independence Day celebration brought a crushing 100,000 people from around the Bay Area. So what happened to this bustling, popular resort? Well, anyone who's ever visited Coyote Point should remember two very important things about it. Number one, it's located right off the flight path to SFO, which is great for airplanes because it's always windy, but not good for amusement parks. And the second problem at Pacific City was number two, literally. So when Pacific City was announced, everybody decided that they needed to move to the area because they wanted to get in on the economic windfall that it would bring. Unfortunately, with all these new people who had moved in, they kind of overwhelmed the city's wastewater system. Oh, and by wastewater system, I mean the little creek we're standing on right here. People would literally dump all their trash and deposit their uh, waste into the creek. Now, of course, the creek runs all the way to the bay where it ends right here. Unfortunately for Pacific City, it's about 100 yards to the north of the park. So you can probably imagine how people reacted when they found out that they were actually swimming in poo. Hey, you guys know you're swimming in poo, right? Faced with this embarrassing situation, the park did its best to uh, poo-poo the naysayers by running several promotions. They even had Harry Houdini perform for several weeks. But all the marketing in the world was not enough to overcome the reputation of that horrendous stench at the park. Pacific City Amusement Park would shut its gates barely two years after it first opened. So several structures remained after the park officially closed, including the roller skating rink and floating restaurant. Unfortunately, due to neglect and vandalism, 
they eventually were raised by the 1950s. And as you can see by today, there's not much left of Pacific City. So, want to know how you can still experience the lost park of Pacific City? The Pacific City site is located right off of Highway 101 in the Coyote Point Recreation Area. After you pay your $6 and head over to the beach, you'll be greeted by this plaque which commemorates the original Pacific City site. So unlike most of the lost amusement parks of Northern California, you can still experience an actual ride from Pacific City. Just come on down to the San Francisco Zoo and check out the Denzel Carousel. Tell me, what is your favorite horse out of all and why? Oh dear, that's... Well, for sentimental reasons, there's one I have a picture of myself on from when I was about four. And it's uh, behind the ostrich over there. And then I love, like, this one right here. And there's one I call Sugar right behind him with the flowers on the saddle. And of course, then there's the angel horse, or the rosy, as we call her, or the angel horse, because they have an angel on the saddle and there's roses in her hair, and she's just beautiful. But it's hard to choose, really. I'm about to say, which horse isn't your favorite? There is no bad horse. <laughs> After over three million revolutions, this Denzel masterpiece continues to thrill generation after generation, even if the people don't know the history behind it. What do you like most about this carousel out here? I like it because I like the different artwork on top. The kids are always there's something to look at. There's mirrors, different kinds of animals. Some of them go up and down. You can just sit still and it's safe. What was the best part about the ride? Uh, when they go up and down. So you like it when they go way up and down? Is there a favorite um, like character that you like there? Do you like the horses? Do you like the pigs or the tiger? Which one do you like the most? Tiger. Awesome. So how old do you think this ride is? 40. 40. 40 years old? I have no idea, but I would guess it's about 50 years old. A million years old. A million years old. How, how old do you think the ride is? 120 years, pretty good. So what if I told you it's about 90 years old? And I'm gonna show you guys a photo of what it looked like before it came here. Oh my goodness, where's it from? So this actually used to be at Pacific City, which was a resort in uh, San Mateo, right at Coyote Point. Uh -huh. Wow, that's fantastic. Now what, do you what do you think you're seeing there? A carousel. Do you know any specific carousel? Um. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, there you have it. Another park lost to the sands of time and a victim of its own success via poo. Now, that's a story worth retelling, don't you think? Join us next time as we explore another lost park of Northern California and reclaim our amusement heritage. For Great American Thrills, I'm Chris Roberry. We'll see you next time. When I say San Mateo, what comes to mind first? Caltrain, Bay Meadows, SFO? What if I told you it was the Coney Island, what if I didn't tell you yet? This will be a long day, Nick. This will be a long, long day. The floating restaurant and bathhouse and delay made it awesome. Pacific City was designed well before it was ever built. So you could call it a planned community of fun. And fun, I'm going through puberty. We're navigating our way off of Pooh Island right now here at Pacific City site. Um, it's called Pooh Island pretty much because as you can see there's no way off. We're trapped. Send money. Send food. Send some Santa wipes. Lots of Santa wipes. Please, lots of Santa wipes. Please. Please. Okay.
it's it's an absolute theme here as we're giving you behind the scenes there is poo everywhere there's poo in the water poo in the creek poo on the grass i mean this is they shouldn't have called it coyote point they should have called it kaipoodi point seriously So do you want to know? No, you don't want to know. For Great American Thrills, I'm Chris Roberry saying we'll see you the next time that the something happens.